Es Agita Otohan Arcala. Basically, um, it's pressuring because you need to set the standard. But then again, I know that I can be the number one uh, queen for tonight's Gandang Nekranset 2022. Yes, I agree. All right, so I will not hold you long. You can now pick a paper All and right. that will reveal your judge. For candidate number one's judge, allow me to call on Ms. Tina Ronato. Hello, good evening. Hi ma'am, good evening. Yes, good evening. You are so beautiful. Thank you so much, you okay. too. Thank you. <laughs> so my question goes this way. Do you believe that respect is not demanded? It is deemed. If so, what will you teach and share to your fellow LGBT members? In order for them to gain the respect from people for them not to be discriminated and bullied. Can you please repeat the question now? Okay, do you believe that respect is not demanded, it is gained? If so, what will you teach and share to your fellow LGBT members in order for them to gain the respect from the people for them not to be discriminated and bullied? All right. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that the most effective tool in transmitting a message is through the word of mouth. And if I'll be given the chance to win the Negro Silent Queen, twen uh, I mean the Gandam Negrense 2022, I will use my recognition to push through with my advocacy, which is inclusive education. Education is something that cannot be taken away from us. We may have the money, we may have the fame, but in the end it can be taken away from us. But education, it will remain and it will help us in our future life. And if we try to say respect, respect begets respect. I think it's a two-way process. If you start respecting yourself, then basically other, pe other people will also start believing in you and give respect in you. And I, thank you. Very well said. Thank you so much, candidate number one, and thank you so much, Miss Tina. Good evening, candidate number two. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Nego Rances. Yes, you look so beautiful in your yellow dress. How are you feeling tonight? Thank you so much. Um, I will take it as a compliment. And I actually feel so beautiful tonight. I feel like I'm one of the stars in the universe, and I'm the brightest of them all. Wow, that was impressive. So I will not hold you long. You can now pick your judge. Candidate 
like number two's judge is Dr. Ralph Carpeño. Good evening, Gandang Yolma. Good evening, sir. This is my question for you. As a member of the LGBTQIA plus community, what course of actions have you done to defend or fight for the rights, especially of, of your trans sisters, for us to choose you as the perfect representation of the trans women community in Negros or Utah? Thank you so much for that question, sir. As everyone knows, I am a licensed professional teacher, a proud transgender department of education teacher. I am setting myself as a role model to everyone, especially to the young transgenders and the members of the LGBTQIA plus community. That is already a testament of what I can offer to all of the Negrovances. I want to show to everyone that I am not just a beauty queen with a beautiful face and body. I am a queen, an educator, and a role model to all of the Negrovances. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ben Donkey Roman. Is Miss Chana B. Morales. Hello, family member. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm so good, ma'am. How are you? I'm good, awesome. Right. Okay, so your question is about the glass. Okay. If you could represent yourself as a good last time 2022 food item, what would it be and why? A woman's purpose must echo a woman's heart. During a good last time festival 2022, it's not just my endeavor about the crown. It's all about showing people about women's heart. It's not just about beauty, but love. It's not just about care, but strength. It's not just about everything that we do, but we are here to represent ourselves. I believe that Joining this Puglasan Festival 2022 is a great honor and responsibility. Joining this Puglasan Festival representing my municipality is very overwhelming. Knowing that my, my municipality and my LGU is here supporting me. So I am here representing not just my municipality, but I am here representing the Lawson 2022 Gangang Negrese. That could be all. Thank you. All right, we just heard. <laughs> all right, for candidate number four, candidate number four, your judge is. Dr. Ralph Cardenio. Okay, good evening. Gandang Santa Catalina. Am I right? Yes. Thank you, Dr. Ralph. Good evening, Ralph. Good evening, Dr. Ralph. This is my question for you. Filipinos are big fans of Korean runs. The key runs. Recently, Senator Jingo Estrada has suggested to ban these Korean telenovelas stealing from his frustration that the Filipinos are too eager and too willing to celebrate South Korea's entertainment industry. Filipinos too have allowed their own movie industry to deteriorate to deteriorate for lack of support from the movie going public. Do you support his suggestion, yes, no, and why? I do not support, yes. 
mandate to ban Korean movies in the Philippines. Why? Right now, we are celebrating Bukidasan, which celebrates culture and diversity. Banning Korean movies is a big slap on their face that we are not welcome to entertain other cultures as well. As we know, we have been molded and cultured by many races, such as the United States, the Spaniards, those are the people that influence us to who we are as Filipinos today. We should not ban Korean movies as it has also an impact to our own society, to our community. That would be all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tedet number four, our Gundam Santa Catalina.